Welcome back, everyone, to the episode of Castilla, 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 where we are playing to soon be the Emperor of Spain, Espana, and soon to be the rulers of Terra de Espana, too. It's gonna take us a little bit, though, because apparently we don't have any type of uh, access to the sea, which does annoy me to a point of no end. Like, I really wish we had access over here so we could actually start colonizing. Um, but apparently we still don't. We just still don't. And the only person that's in the only person that we could possibly attack would be Portugal. And oh my goodness, I'd love to attack Portugal right now, because they are annoying, annoying people. Anyways, um I've been looking around just kind of general consensus of all the other world powers. Most of them seem to be either balanced people, administrators, or just generally nice people. Oh yeah, and we, oh yeah, we, I think we were the ones that, like, excommunicated the king. <laughs> I don't remember why we did it, but, oh yeah, we were trying to see if we could get good causes of allies against them. Which we couldn't, and it was kind of useless. Let's start investing more money, or more patrician points, and then let's continue on. So, um, yeah, I still cannot get over here to the new world, I'm kind of angry about that. So, supported the independence of Lithuania, that's good to know. So, what I'm seeing around is, is that I could, this is the cool thing about this, I could possibly get the opinion of the Danish up, which means if I could get the opinion of the Danish up, I could possibly start colonizing over here. We just need to get their opinion up to the point of happiness, and that way we could possibly colonize. Especially if there's something over here, we could possibly colonize, which means I'm probably going to go send out a new explorer. In fact, I'll do that right now. Um... Um, Fernando's been, yeah, I'm just gonna have two explorers going right now because I already have, like, I mean, look at our militaristic score. It's already pretty much the highest point in our game, so having an extra explorer won't be that bad. So we're just gonna have him and I need a good bark. Stop patrolling for a second, get a good bark right there. Uh, actually I'll gain two barks because I think if you have two barks it usually, I think they stay alive a little bit longer. Like the ships do. So you guys go dock up. You guys go dock up. And let's keep improve. Let's keep in Let's start improving relationships with with uh, Denmark. I hadn't started improving relationships with Denmark. I should start. Yeah, because we want them to like us. If they could like us and be unneutral to us. We could definitely have a beautiful alliance going to where we could use them to our own means and ends, which is what we need to do, honestly. So let's get our new explorer in. Christel Fogeska! Well, I butchered that name, I'm so sorry. And let's just see if there's any type of land over here. I mean, all this guy's job is to do is just to see if there's any type of land over here so that maybe, maybe, just maybe, we could use Denmark as our, you know, point of interest. And apparently we've already improved maximum relationships with Denmark. Uh, that kind of stinks. So, what should we do next? We should probably do some economic stuff, maybe send some gifts. Um, I'm not making the dough as I usually do in this game. Probably because it's still like pre-game. I mean, we haven't really gone that far into the game. So let's see. What are we going to discover? What are we going to discover? I wonder. More pieces of, of unused land. Well, hmm. Seems like we might not find that secret continent I'm looking for. And after this, I'm probably going to go send these guys back because they look like they're already going to start to die. Wow, they might not even- OH MY GOODNESS, THERE IS A bit OF LAND! Okay, 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 you guys, get back here. Get back to my land. Oh my goodness, they're gonna go- No, that's a bad idea. Go all the way around. I know you guys are really enthusiastic explorers, but seriously, just go the long ways. Oh my goodness, yeah, you guys can make it. You guys can make it! Come on, Crystal, do not be one of the other people that usually dies during my expeditions. I mean, my mortal death rate for my explorers is like, hi! I mean, insanely high, so I'm just gonna let him hopefully survive. He might make it back, he just has to quickly... Oh my goodness, that's so nerve-wracking. So, while we slowly watch the adventures of my maybe last explorer, um, I'm slowly just keep building up more and more army men and more and more stuff. In fact, I can build one more army man, and I think I'm gonna build a uh, soldier right there. There we go. So let's see, come on! You can make it! You're right there in my... Oh, thank goodness he made it! Oh, thank goodness he made it. Okay. And now that I know that there is a little bit of land right here, it is even imperative that we get the Danish to like us. So. I have no money. Gosh dang it. Okay. Um. 
Let's see. We have to start sending good, nice things to them for them to like us. Uh, form an alliance. Distance between borders. Neutral attitude. Dang it. If they did not have that neutral attitude. Okay, who are your enemies? Rivals. Bohemia. Poland. Okay, Bohemia. Poland. You know, I wouldn't mind if Bohemia is my, my enemy for a little bit. I mean, I don't... We're not particularly friends with Bohemia, and Bohemia is not really like that big of a, of a threat. I mean, I we could be I can meet you here halfway. We could be enemy, ally to rival. Oh, is Bohemia one of my friends? Shoot, who am I who am, who am I allied with right now? Austria, Portugal, and England. I'm not allied with any of your rivals. What are you talk? Oh yeah, England. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I'm not allied with any of your rivals. Okay, I'm gonna get this while I still have it. Okay. I know it. Oh, it started. Dang it. Uh, and this is why it becomes a pain guarding this land. Okay. I know a lot of you people who are very much supportive of me conquering all of that land down there. We from Gutentag. I usually like them. The Red Sclater uh, and the Patel. The Patel, or do I want the Colvin? Let's get the Colvin. Alright, anyways, a lot of you people probably were very enthusiastic when I took all that land from that other person and were like, Oh, yay! You know, you took land from the Muslims! You you rock, James! Eh, you probably didn't say that, but I imagine that's what you all said. Sorry, I'm a little bit of a sicko. So, let me just combine all you guys, actually, because that makes my life a lot easier. God, my... Wait, not meant sure, and I meant... Uh... Oh, oh yeah, I am a... Or you control the Sophil. Wait, is that just because I just sent all my trade power somewhere else? Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's probably because I just sent my trade power all the way somewhere else. But like I was saying, um, the hardest part about guarding this land is the fact that it is literally almost impossible to core this stuff. Because these guys will literally not give up. You will literally have to fight these guys forever and ever and ever. I'm literally going to have to just basically stage like six men there at constant times making sure we guard this place with our lives. And let's see, with England's distance, could we possibly reach anywhere? Can I colonize anywhere? Can I colonize anywhere? Can I colonize? No, I can't. So, explore, go explore this part right here. So that we can have just a little bit more, more entry, a little bit more knowingness about over here. Over here we have a rebellion we have to crush. Let's see, we have... Uh, we could probably get down two of these guys, and there we go. Yeah, I, I want to keep a good, like, balance in terms of army, so... No, you guys get on the ships. Ships, go right here. Go crush, go crush these stupid Sunnis. Oh, and by the way, it's not... Oh my goodness, you guys in that morale! Oh, shoot. You are idiots. That is an idiot. Why did you guys not have full morale? For heaven's sake. Oh. Okay, send over this, man. We're going to have even more men going to go over here to go fight the Sunnis. And this is why I usually don't like this land. It's because it's a pain to guard. Ugh. Although I did take it, so it's really my fault. And you're going to give me military access right now, Portugal. I don't care what you say, you're giving me military access. Thank you. I'm going to start docking up troops right here so I can start fighting these guys a little bit more effectively. And once I have the ability to, I'm going to gain a bigger naval limit. Ignore demands or whatever. I, I'm not really caring about papal prestige, to be honest. Okay, you guys have discovered what you need to. Come back home before you guys die. And now that we have a good land access, we now have a clear route to both sides of the continent, which is good. And I think next expedition, I think I'm actually going to try to go all the way around. We're actually going to try to discover the rest of the world. Actually become the first Christopher Columbi. Okay. But before we do that, we have to first gain our land back. Again. Okay, just send half of the soldiers over. That's all we're basically going to need. So yeah, go right here. Do, do, do. Yeah, and I'm probably just going to keep like this many soldiers over here at constant times. Because these guys are really that much of a pain to deal with. I'm not even like kidding you. Let's get our good, our good leader, who's actually an okay leader at diplomatic and administrative power, and there we go. So yeah, there we go, that's going to be the army that's going to maintain here. I kind of want to conquer Calcutta, because it's kind of an annoying province that should be a part of my 
So yeah, now we got this province back. We got everything back. Everything looks cool now. We're all cool, guys. We're all cool. Invest in my cardinal. And there we go. Uh, yeah, going a little bit down because we have a couple of explorers. Which I'm fine with. I'm fine with having a couple of explorers. I mean, it's not like too big of a deal for me. Uh, and it seems like there's some like wars, internal wars going on over here. That's pretty cool. Uh, man. Denmark, how are we doing on that, uh, securing alliance thing? I mean, you guys must like us a little bit more. Uh, neutral attitude. <sighs> Unless you don't have a neutral attitude towards me, we're never gonna become friends. So, why don't we become buddies and you become unneutral to me? Or I may have to go invade you, which would be really unawesome. Although I am pretty weak right now. Never, what am I talking about? Like... Right now, in terms of militaristic power, I'm only funding my- Oh, I was only funding my soldiers, like, halfway. Dang, my economy- Why are we doing so bad in our economy? The succession of church functions. Oh, man, the church is affecting me? Uh, I hate you, church. <laughs> Why do you guys have to be so, like, greedy? Okay, we can finally invest in a new idea. This is taking me a long time. Do I really need to invest in Viceroy's? Let's see, how are we behind right now in terms of techno- Yep, we are behind. Yep, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna have to- we're gonna have to tech down a couple of tech trees because we're falling behind immensely, yeah. This embassy, getting an embassy and getting this up and running would be much more important than- than the, uh, few points that we could get. Let's get that right now. Embassy. Yeah, that's way more important. And let's see, local constables. We could get some local constables. What does this cost me? Admin points. Uh, no, I need to. I need to save some of my admin points so I can at least core this. So at least we can get down some. I mean, not all of it, but some of the uh, to the uh, some of the like hatred that the world has towards us. And uh, still no way I can colonize anywhere. Sad thing to do. Sad thing to do. Okay, and we still got more room that we could actually expand our bases, and we can actually do more of this. Hmm. See, I think we should also do some more temples, but I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. I have to wait until I can at least core this, so that we can gain that stupid core. I think there's some, like, internal struggles going on in here, which I'm not really paying attention to. I'm just kind of watching from afar, like, huh, somebody's at war right now. Eh, interesting. I don't really care. Back to colonizing. Oh my goodness, Portugal. You are so lucky, Portugal. Like, if I had the opportunity, I would be attacking you so badly. And yes, a lot of you people are probably thinking, why don't you just break up your lines and actually go attack them? Well, because I think it's honestly better to just have Portugal as an ally, but more than a more than an enemy. Especially since I really don't have many other well, I do have two big alliances, but I really don't want to be fighting Portugal for the rest of my life. Besides, they also have England as an ally, which could get very, very hairy very, very quickly. Yeah, and now you guys probably want an alliance with someone because, uh, I've been pretty nice to you guys. You guys should like me. Yeah. You guys should like me, but you don't. I hate... Uh, I hate Denmark. <laughs> okay, you're fine. I think this, I think this guy is finally going to ascend, which is good. And Medela is going to revolt. Like I said, this is going to be like the next 20 years of what we're going to be doing. Rebel stomp anything. Luckily, my commander should be able to deal with it all. We don't have to deal with anything. We got continue the lead conquista. Yay! I don't know what we did, but we finally finished that mission. It took us insane amounts of time. Integrate. Enemy of enemy. Become Burgundy's friend. Uh, no. Burgundy seems like it's having troubles right now. Conquer Giona. Oh, where's Giona? Uh, find province. I want to find... Girona. 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 Okay, so we would take it from our good friends, the, uh, Aragonians, who hate me with a burning passion. You know, actually, none of these really affect my goals right now. If there was one about con of like integrating, hmm. Six seas when actually we could do that one right now. So we're about to do it. Diplomatic insults or lose twenty five prestige. Shoot. Uh. 
That was mean, Portugal. That was just mean. I'm trying to... Uh, you know, you are on my top 10 hit list. You know that, don't you? I mean, you really should not be treading the way you tread. I, I'm already, like, almost to the point of wanting to attack you. So please, don't push it. Please, don't push it. Because uh, I really want your islands. I really want your colonies. I really want everything you have, Portugal. This is like this is like one of those few times I actually do... I'm actually jealous of Portugal. Like, seriously. I'm actually jealous of them. They're annoying. Oh, shit. Again, this is going to keep happening for a very, very long time. In fact, let's just like, to maybe help the problem just a little bit, let's send two armies to both these sides, and there we go. That way, at the very least, they should have two protections, two armies just battering it out. We will probably get the defensive bonus, so we should be able to win every single time. A condo is no longer loyal to us, or if it is, we just conquered it back. Uh, uh, give me like three minutes, please. Okay. So, yeah. We have just enough forces to just do a couple more things. And now it's time to go see, maybe we can even get even more lucky. Maybe there's even close to settlements of what I'm thinking. Let's just have this guy just keep exploring. Um... Man, I'm really holding out hope that there's more, there's a little bit more to this. But I'm, I'm slowly getting, my hopes are slowly getting dashed the more and more I keep playing this. Or the more and more we keep exploring. And sooner or later, I'm going to have to admit that there's an army in Gibraltar. Really? You guys really, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Provisional tax income. Right there, man. If I could just get over that, we could probably convert all of this. Sadly, these guys are going to be main strong, stupid. Oh no, 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 no. Don't you dare. Oh. <sighs> okay, soldiers, you have disappointed me for the last time. Let's see. You have. That should have won. Okay, so we need one more of these guys, and like three more of these guys. And maybe a cauldron. No, we can't get a cauldron. Okay, so once that all builds, we're going to send these guys back out to them and go kill them. Okay, also we have ships that are just sitting there in the water, so I'm going to go get them back, get them over here. And yeah, I think these guys are probably going to be the ones to go and do some stuff. I don't... I do not believe there's any more, like, islands. I, I think we basically hit the unlucky lottery. So I I'm basically going to accept it. There's, like, no point in not accepting it. We basically hit the unlo unlucky lottery. And... We also hit the unlucky lottery when it comes to people. And time to boost up my stability. That way to increase my income just slightly. And that way we can start increasing stuff a little bit. Get our men all grouped up right here. Let's go send them back over there to the uh, 4k that apparently stomped them last time. So embarrassing, Castile. So embarrassing. Okay. Let's go! Men ahoy! Let's see this, let's see this, we're gonna go, men are going to the Lido, then they're going to go to Colorado, then they're going to go to Granada, and then they're going to go to Gibraltar, and they're going to go to crush the army. Yeah. Okay, and you guys, you guys will make it all the way over there, start actually exploring some more of the coast, because I'd like to see, I would actually personally love to see if we could actually figure out, like, how big is this continent, how big are these islands over here. That's pretty cool. Alright, and now since we have our army over there, I think we finally got control over all of our more rebellious provinces. And we're about to gain control of our integration over here. Now let's see, how long would it take the Sunni to do this? Uh, we would basically never be able to convert that. That stinks. This, we will probably never be able to convert either. No, we could possibly convert this. We just need to like... Uh, positive stability... Uh, we would get close. I think what we would need to like to like be able to like overturn this uh, stuff is I think we would the papal controller help us out? No, it does not. I remember this now. Papal controller does not help us out with in terms of missionary strength. But oh shoot, our explorer. Oh, he still hasn't made it. We oh, did make it. Oh, he's gonna die. <laughs> he's going to die. Well, actually, he might make it if he goes right here. I mean, he might. 
There was a chance he might make it, but most likely he's going to die. You know, this this happens a lot. I just want to point this out. Ah. And that's where we end today's episode, people. So will the explorer survive into the next episode? Uh, probably not. <laughs> but it will be entertaining nonetheless. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Undersea stuff. Yeah, let's decrease that. Because that's costing us a lot of money now, which I don't like. We have no advisors. What the heck? Let's get some level 1 No, I'm not getting any of you guys. Yeah, that was... Okay, I did not notice that. So yeah, we had level 1 advisors. We had no advisors for like the last couple of years. That is weird. I wonder why that happened. But I, I don't know why that happened. I honestly don't. So don't ask me. Just ask the game, I guess. We're going to keep building up more of our stuff. Build some more stuff. Star forts, which are really going to be nice, especially on the border right here. Unique buildings. We can build a march. Hmm. Interesting. A march. We could probably build it right in Navarre because I don't think I'm going to be able to conquer Spain or France anytime soon. Although I will have to stop their blobbing at some point. Probably with Austria's help, we'll stop the blobbing and destroy them. But I'm going to have to wait until Austria becomes the major power. I'm hoping it becomes. It's just. It's going to take a little bit. And of course, England could also become a great power in this time too, but they're not usually that good when it comes to actual military. This is good when it comes to the seas. That's literally the only thing they're good at. They usually don't get that big of an army. If they do build an army, they keep it all on the main coast, which makes it kind of pointless for the rest of the world. Because like, oh, you have a big army. Well, it's all up on my country, which really no one else can see except for me. So, haha. -ha. Let's see. Keep investing. And there we go, diplomats arrived. Get this guy right here. So let's see, who do we want to improve relationships with? Not the Ottomans, Poland. You know, Poland's becoming a pretty good power, but unless they actually, you know, completely engulf Lithuania, I'm not sure they're going to be able to do that. But if they do, then, oh, called it, so called it, oh, so called it, called both of them. I so called Bohemia would become would become a Protestant nation. I so called it that uh, that Sweden would become Protestant. So called it. I'm surprised. Ca I'm surprised England hasn't become Protestant yet, though. Uh, that'll probably change the relationships. But maybe we could get an alliance with Poland. Poland might be, like I said, a good alliance. Still more battles over there. Means this guy's almost done exploring everything. Looks like we have some pretty nice mountain ranges over here, near Lake Erie and Mobile. Good to note. Portugal, you expansionist hog. Seriously, that is so unfair. If I had your little, like, Canary Islands over here, uh, I know they're called the Azores, but seriously, that is so unfair. I would love to take those right now and just, like, use them to my benefits. <sighs> so frustrating. So very, 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 very frustrating. But... Uh, hey, I guess there's not much we can do about it, so there's no point in moping. Let's see, we have a new naval limit. We, we're actually paying more for our, naval, our navy than we should be, but I don't really care. Naval limit's not that important to me. Uh, army limit, though, we should be at max by now. So one... Ooh. So let's see, what do we need to make this army complete? Just a lot of troops, that's all we basically need. One, two, three. There we go. That should maximize on our army limit, and then we finally have had a full army, a full army, which we haven't had in a very long time. Having a full army is going to be nice. Let's finally do this click right there so that we can finally get back to a regular screen. And there we go. The world is at peace right now, which is kind of nice. I mean, I don't think, no one's at any major wars. Austria, actually Austria is at war with Bohemia, but... Do I really consider that a major war? No. Not in the least bit.
So, yeah, most of the world is basically at peace. I know we're at peace. Um, Aragon has major cores on us, which is kind of scary considering that they could get one major big alliance and then completely go and destroy me. Which is actually a scary thought, and I don't really like that thought. At all. Like, it's a scary thought. I don't really like it. So let's just keep building some of these. And there we go. Our temples are magically exploding everywhere. And with that last comment, I'm going to end today's episode. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Da -da -da -da!